It's all for educational purpose. It's about the constitutional oath of office. For those that don't know about public officials, it's a bond that if they violate your constitutional rights and they're under oath, it's a bond like an insurance bond. Same as a vehicle insurance. If you get in an accident, you call the insurance. And if same as they violate your right, they cover themselves by an official bond. And they um it's sad because it's even like an officer. If he commits a crime against you, you file a complaint. You can go through a lot of process. But the thing is that you're not doing it. I feel like people are not doing it the right way. And they have an oath. And when you take an oath, you have to have a bond, a surety bond. So I speak with proof documents. I myself go to Prathanathory uh, and the deeds, the um, Office of Deeds, the public records. So I got into a situation and I felt like I was being treated the wrong way. And since I know that the United States is a fiction, it's a corporation, and I try to explain and express myself, and I was ignored. So, this is right here. Constitution of oath of a judge. can't really see it well, I don't think you can, but the constitutional oath of office, I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support, obey, and defend the constitution of the United States, which is a corporation, it's a fiction, and the constitution of the commonwealth, and that I will discharge the duty of my office with fidelity. Gets the signature of the officer, the name of the officer, and the magistrate title office. He signed it. Note, the foregoing oath shall be administered by some person authorized to administer oath. The oath of state office, justice of the Supreme Court, and judges of the Superior and Commonwealth Court shall be filed in the office of the Secretary of Commonwealth. The oath of other judicial and county officers shall be filed with the prothonotory of the county in which the oath is taken. This is called a DCS a DSCB 70. The sec when you file the, a secretary of commonwealth, this officer took the, this officer, a judge took the oath, and the secretary of state, no, secretary of commonwealth signed it. The government's son signed it. His name is there, and this is another oath he took. That he took office, and they allowed him to, to be a judge. This is found in the records of these office. You pay a dollar fifty for it. All you gotta do is ask them, can I get the the names, the name of the officer, or the name of the judge, or the district attorney, or anything, and they'll give you a copy of it for a dollar fifty, and they'll give you a copy that you received it, that this is a legal document, and that is for public notice. The grantor is Commonwealth of Department 
of state. And the grantee is the official's name. It gives you the number, the book number, the same number as says on this, on the side right here. So you know that this is combined together. And it's just, it's public record. And people don't know that. So going, getting back to um, the Constitution of Oath, when he doesn't uphold his duty and he violates his, his um, oath, he has an insurance bond. Like I've told you, same as uh, car insurance, if I'm driving and I end up hurting somebody or kill somebody, who do you tax? Or who do you... Like, make a complaint of, I have an insurance company. You could go ahead and text my insurance. I don't have nothing to do, nothing with it. Like, I won't get charged with the murder. Now, but if I'm drunk and I commit a, like, I commit a, a crash or kill the person, I'm held responsible because I was intoxicated. And that's irresponsible for you. Same as a cop. If he end up killing somebody, shooting somebody, there's an insurance bond that you go, they go after the insurance bond and people don't know that. And if it reaches over the limit that the county has or that the, the, the principal has, they have to file a financial statement. That's a UCC form through the state um, office. So this is the, this is the, right here is the oath of office for this officer. He's a judge. And you ask, you go to the Pathanatory, uh, sorry, Pathanatory, and you ask for the oath of office and his insurance bond. They'll give you these papers. They can't tell you they don't have it because they do, and they, they won't have no problem giving it to you if you have the money to pay. There's a dollar each the page, and that's it. So once you get this, these, these forms, you read them and you search. You go under public officials, fidelity. It's called public. I have the book. I'm going to show you too. So, con constitutional um, oath of office. And this is the insurance bond. This is his insurance. Like, this is what his the constitution, um, the, his um, oath of office. And if he violates anything, he has a bond. I like this one. See, the Ohio Collusion Insurance Company bond. His bond is $25,000, saying that, that we, the officer's name, the judge's name, gives the street, his, his, his address, his like Main Street address, where he lives, not the county, nothing, nothing of that. As principal, and the and the Ohio Casualty Insurance Company, a corporation organized in existence under the law of the state of Ohio, here and after called the surety, are held and firm bound unto Commonwealth of in the for the use and benefit of Lebanon County. And it says the, the courthouse. In an aggregate and non-cumulative -cumul panel of some $25,000 for the payment of which, well, and therefore to be made, we bind ourselves, our hire, executive administrator, Successor and assigned jointly and severely, severally, firmly by this present that is sealed. And it says he signed here. His commission ends the beginning of his of his um, when he started office, and the ending is 2018. So if you go. Like for me, I I I I, I asked for his bond. 
and continue this.